Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ninja Edits here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do this effect. If you guys didn't see it, it's pretty fast, but uh, let me just turn that off. And let's show it right here. Yeah, this. It's this transition where it goes into nine little screens and then it fades into the next clip so it like bounces out and then bounces back in so I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that so first thing you want to do is composition new composition and I'm gonna make this about eight seconds okay and I'm gonna drag my two clips in um, this and this I'm going to make sure my composition is 59.94 frames and 720p. Okay. And I'm working in third. And I'll work in full if I need to. To show you something to you guys. But right now I'll work in third. So. I'm going to split my clip here. I'm pretty sure that's where he jumps off. Or starts the clip. Right there. Okay. So. That's what I need about this clip. And never mind, I need to do a little more. Okay, I'm gonna put it all the way back. And then I'm gonna also split it somewhere around here. And then I'm gonna turn this clip off and then split my clip of what I need it on that too. Okay, so I have my two clips here, and we're going to make an adjustment layer, and how you can do that is layer, new, adjustment layer, and then on this layer, we're going to type in our effects right here, we're going to type in motion tile, and then just drag that onto the adjustment layer, and where you want it to, the adjustment to, uh, where you want the transition to begin, put a keyframe of the width and the height there and then where you want it to end uh, go to where you want it to end so I'm gonna go 40 frames ahead so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 Okay, so that's where I want it to end. So I'm gonna right click these, add keyframe, add keyframe, and then I'm gonna go 20 seconds back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'm gonna make these 31. Um, no, that's a bit too much. Let's make this 40. Uh, that looks right. Okay, so what we have here now is it goes out and then back in, but this is too simple. And also the other clip doesn't come ahead yet. So we're going to make it fade in. So to do that, we're going to uh, make this clip right here. We're going to press T on it and then their opacity comes up and then you want to hit the stopwatch and then you want to go 10 frames ahead. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And how I'm going through the frames is pressing control and then my left and right arrow keys. And then you want to just put the opacity down. So while it goes out, it fades into the next clip and then goes. So yeah, that's how you do that. And then, now this looks too plain. We're going to type in on our effects here and then look up an effect called optics composition. And put that on our adjustment layer as well. And we're going to press E on our keyboard on the adjustment layer. So it brings up our effects. We're going to go into motion tile and s and we're going to go on the first uh, keyframe of motion tile. We're going to press the stopwatch on this field of view and hit reverse lens distortion on the optics composition. And then we want to go on the next keyframe of the motion tile and then the one after that. On this one also make a keyframe on the uh, field of view. And then you want to go on the keyframe before, so that's where the motion tiles is at its highest. 
So we're going to make the field of view 110. So that distorts it a bit. So now it's like that. So it looks like it's slingshotting back and then coming back. Okay, and it still looks a bit too plain. So I'm going to add in another effect called Gaussian Blur and then add that on here too. And we're going to just do the same thing like we did for the optics composition. We're going to put a keyframe on the first thing at zero and then go to the last frame of the motion tile and also make a keyframe at zero. And then go to the middle one where the motion tile is at its highest. And we're going to blur it a bit. So this gives it like a motion blur effect. So while it goes out, it blurs and then comes back. Okay, so let's preview this. But first, I'm just going to... You always have to have the black bars, you know? Yeah, always. And... Okay, let's watch it. Sec, let me just make this shorter. Okay, let's preview this. I'm gonna ram preview it. Okay, there we go. If you want to make it a bit slower, you can always move the keyframes a bit, uh, a bit more frames apart. But uh, yeah, guys, that's how you do it. So I'll see you guys next time. Hit the subscribe button. This has been Ninja Edits.